Well, gentlemen, which motorhome are we sitting in today? Today we're in the Autosleeper Kemerton. This is the latest two berth, front lounge, end bathroom, van conversion. And how many seat belts have we got, Tim? We've got three seat belts, two in the cab, and one here at the back. Okay. And of course, you're based on the Peugeot chassis again. Peugeot Boxer. 2.2 Euro 5. So, uh, how, many pe how, how many horsepower is that? 130. 130. Sorry, yes, you nearly caught me out there, Brian. <laughs> you were testing. I like to catch you out now and again. I try the hardest. And how long is it, Tim? Length on this one is 5.99 meters, which for all those in English is at 19 feet and 8 inches. So we're under the six meter barrier, under six ferries, meters, all that yeah. sort of thing. And width? Width on this one is 2.26 meters, which is seven foot five. In old English. In, In old, old English. English. Can't beat it, can you? And I, I suppose it's under three and a half tons, is it? It's 3,500 kilos. Maximum? Maximum, weight. yeah. Okay. And what's your payload? Payload, 605 kilograms. So it's got a decent Gosh, payload for a van this size. That's an, you wouldn't get all that equipment in it, would you? No. Nope. Um, more importantly, if you want to tow with it, it'll tow two and a half tons. 2,500 kilos. So you're okay with your speedboat? It's ridiculous. And yeah, it, I mean, it's just so much right. essential. And get down to the nitty gritty. What's the size of the freshwater tank and the waste tank? Fresh tank on this is 69 uh, litres with a 40 litre waste tank. So you don't need to go home for a fortnight? No. Fill it up and away you go? Yeah. And has it uh, got gas bottles or is it...? Uh... No, no, this has got a tank. So it's got an onboard, it's underslung LPG tank with a 25 litre capacity. So you feel that to put petrol stations and things? Yeah. yeah. Any petrol station you pretty much want to go to. And some of the sites they've got uh, refill yeah, centres now. Yeah. yeah. And because it's, it's a lot cheaper actually, isn't it? It's on site cheaper than, than replacing bottles, yeah. yeah. And again, you know, going, going, if you're going abroad with it. Litre. Sorry Tim, when you're going abroad with it, you just get your Euro adapters. Yeah. Fill up on Yeah, the, the LPG is uh, very popular abroad. Yeah, it's yeah. Happy, yeah, in fact. And I think the biggest advantage is that you can just top it up. You don't yeah. have to wait till your bottle's empty. You can just top it up. Yeah. If you think, oh, I'm running down a bit, I'll just make sure I've got plenty in there. And there's no wastage. I mean, bear in mind, yeah. we all do it. It's, oh, how much is in this bottle? Oh, well, I'd better change it just in case. Just in case. And who yeah. knows how much you're wasting every time, every you, do time that. you do. You've got yeah. the indicator on the uh, dashboard, it's yeah. on the dashboard here. So really? you, you've got a, you know, a, a level indicator, so it keeps you. Yeah, that's really good. Really. Okay. Can't so, see. we know how big it is and what, what equipment we've got. Uh, how much is it? Cost of this one is 46495 But don't forget, you've got to add a premium pack if you want all the goodies. And right. this one's got metallic paint at £360 as well. Okay, well let's just go through those goodies because it's, it's very comprehensive, isn't it? Oh yeah. You've got alloy wheels, mm -hmm. cab air conditioning, daytime running lights, cruise control, Alco air top suspension. Now you don't get that on the coach builds, do you? You don't get it on the coach builds, and I can't think of another manufacturer that puts it as standard on any of their vehicles. And that just sort of presumably balances it and smooths out the ride. Smooths out the ride. It does make you such a difference. You can adjust the ride to how you like, can't you? Yeah, you that's know, right. You, you can do it. To you see like you. a harder ride or a softer ride. So, so how do you yeah. do that? It's just a matter of uh, opening the passenger door and uh, an airline. Um, you just float with compressed air. Yeah, just in the garage. Yeah, there's a your. Um, Pumping your tires up, yeah. Okay. Well, I am finished with this premium pack. There's awning, yeah. microwave, yeah. you get the Howler Cake Tracker, yeah. and a television. TV with DVD player. Right. Okay. She's had text. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah mate. So she can't be good quality. quality. Yeah, good quality. Okay. We can fit, Mark can fit solar panels if somebody actually wants a solar panel. Yeah. It is an accessory and we do fit a lot of them. Right, but it's not standard in, in, not in standard, the premium not pack premium as an pack, option, though. okay. Okay Tim, so we're in a Kemerton, but there are other models in the panel van conversion range. Yeah, the, the Autosleeper offer three variations of the long wheelbase boxer. Obviously the Kemerton that we're sat in now. We then move on to the Warwick Duo, which has been around for three years now. Very, very good seller. Big thing with that, obviously, the big selling point is twin benches at the back, so a lovely long rear lounge, you can sleep as twins or a huge double, it's got the floating wardrobe in there, that's a really popular van. So, yeah. 
and then of course you've got the new one that came out, the Windrush. Windrush, yeah. Which is, is a family is van really, new isn't it? Van, yeah. and, and again, Windrush features a forward lounge very similar to this, other than it has a, a travel seat here rather yeah. than a bench. But then further back, you lose the end shower room, but you gain two bunks. Yeah. Which again, in this industry, is a fantastic feature. Really makes it a unique van. But you still got a shower though, haven't you? You still got a shower. The shower's on the side, right. so the configuration okay. changes. Okay. But you so get a shower. It's a four berth. So have we got four seat belts? Four seat belts. So it ticks all the boxes. It ticks every box. It's not a deal. Nice, nice family. family yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. For someone who doesn't want something too big, it's perfect. Yeah. Now the one thing that uh, all of these auto sleeper models have is the benefit of the auto sleepers owners club. Yeah, I think we do free uh, free membership, don't we? We are, yes, yes. At the moment, we've uh, teamed up with the uh, club itself, and we're offering it for everybody that buys a new auto sleeper, even a, a used one from us. We're giving them free membership to the. Uh, uh, what Sleeper benefit does that give them? Um, well, it's it, the thing that, especially for people that's just coming into it, it's nice for them to uh, converse with these people and, and, and brings them into the community. Exactly, yeah, yeah. which is, you know, also it is, it, yeah. is, is a community. You know, you go to the rallies and that kind of thing. That yeah, because at the rallies, don't forget, a lot of the rallies, auto sleeper have their own club area, don't they? Well, they do, and, and they, they meet up time and time again. Yeah. You make new friends, and it becomes a, a big social event. It's the it? newsletter, the monthly newsletter yeah. that comes out. That's good, yeah. and that's full of hints yeah. and tips. Yeah. 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 So that's a, another good reason for buying an auto sleep. And yeah. you get discounts on uh, various things, I think, uh, through the yeah. through the club itself. The so, club. so it saves you money throughout the year. Okay, so we we know the weights, the lengths, the equipment we've got. What's your favourite feature, Tim? For me. Standout's got to be the Warwick Duo, and I call me boring, but those two benches are fantastic. You know, adults, good sized adults can sleep as twins or an enormous double. So for me, that's the standout one. Well, that's, that's a pretty good feature because middle of the night you don't want to be having to climb no. over people, do you? No. Well, and if you just want to put your point. feet up during the day, you just yeah. flop and relax, it's easy. Well, that's it. I, uh, I'm going uh, for the uh, for this one that we're sitting in the Camerton with yeah. the new uh, rear bathroom, you know, the shower and the uh, toilet. Great, great room in it for, for folk, um, and it does set it away from where you're living, where you're cooking. You know, there's a door to separate it, so uh, and I think it's a great design. So uh, that's my favourite. Tell the truth, for a big fella like you, it's a big enough shower. It's a cracking shower. I can, yes, I can get in there. You can get in there. Yeah. <laughs> what about you, Brian? Well, I, I think I'd go for the wind rush because. I don't have children that I take away on holiday, but for two people, you don't have to use those benches yeah. to sleep in. Yeah. You can use it for storing equipment. You can get your golf clubs on. You can get all sorts of things on there as a double sort of stacking unit. Yeah. So to me, that's, that's really what it's the good way of looking at things. That's a very clever way of looking at things. Isn't it? Yeah, it's a different use for, for the yeah. Book, you know, different to what auto sleep is designed for, but. You know, it's, a, it's it, we, it, you know, we do find that people like the room, don't they? Even yeah. those two of them, they like the extra storage room. So. Well, as, as a golfer, you need space for your golf clubs, yeah. and uh, that's absolutely ideal. Mm. It's fine golfer, Brian. Don't ask what my handicap is. No, okay. you, you'll get rude, I know. <laughs> my handicap's picking up a club. <laughs>